It has been a combination of both. Um, I, coming from a family of uh, teacher, my father was a teacher, uh, I have seen in some sense uh, some little bit elements of the teaching since my childhood and the major uh, turning point of uh, deciding to become a teacher uh, was uh, after I finished my uh, engineering. Let me tell you that, you know, we get a very good uh, set of students to teach at IIT Kanpur. And whenever you have such kind of situation where the variance is very small and the mean is very high, the management becomes very different than the place where you have kind of reasonable distribution of the mean and the variance. Meaning thereby that if one or two students in a class starts feeling that he is falling behind, not that he is really falling behind, but he feels that he is falling behind, I would have liked to do much more for those who unnecessarily feel that they are falling behind. So that little part, I think, remains incomplete. The student should. Uh, this is the very important formative stage of their life, and they should explore uh, all possible avenues of the life. The total life is not only solving partial differential equation, and but much more than that, and much beyond that, that. The question is that at what stage of life one should explore. Uh, perhaps in my opinion, this is the student life, which is the best part of the life in which all such things should be explored along with their, their education, of course. And we do believe very strongly that this is the time, no other time, as a matter of fact, when they you know, try to um, explore various things, collect them, which they like, and they sort of you know, go ahead and do it, and then they, they add all these qualities uh, to, to their profession and make a very good, uh, what our first director used to call earlier, uh, Professor P.K. Uh, Kelker, was a complete human being. We are looking for somebody who knows everything, who knows the pains of others, as a matter of fact, and who also knows how to laugh, how to cry on occasions. And that is what, according to him, if I can quote, means meaning of a complete human being. So I think extracurricular activities or co-curricular activities play a very, very important role in that context. When I was uh, very young, my elder brother and myself, we, we started uh, doing tuitions uh, to teach students. And that's the time when I, I realized that uh, you know, I have to teach well to the students so that I'm in a position to attract the, uh, more students for the tuitions to earn more money. Uh, when I started putting in my little bit of efforts to unknowingly that I'll become a teacher one day, uh, but later on, uh, I realized that um, uh, you know I can explain certain things in a, in a in a more uh, easy manner to the students, and that's where I, I I decided that I would I would like to take up at least teaching will be one profession that I can probably uh, take up later on. I have always uh, felt that the that the students whom I teach and who asks excellent questions in the class that make me uh, think a lot about the subject to put in a, in a different way so that uh, every year I am in a position to improve on uh, introducing the concepts in a varied way. Also it helps in, in, in research. So I, I am not very sure whether the pressure has really increased. But also now what students have is a poss possibility of looking at the internet in many ways, uh, constructive ways also. So I think that they, they also occupy their time in, in that uh, way. So I'm, I do not know how much because in the classes, for example, we don't see that many attendance of the students uh, as earlier times. Uh, so I'm not very sure whether it is because of the internet or it is because of uh, something else. I mean, they may be doing, utilizing the time in a constructive way, that's a different thing, but uh, they may have become more busy, uh, maybe because of that also partly. Uh, it was my mother, she wanted to be a doctor, but those times were very different. Uh, she couldn't pursue uh, the career that she wanted, but then she transferred that love and desire for learning to us, to the children. And from very young age, we were taught to love learning right from to place learning above everything else. That enabled all, all the children to do very well in school. I went on to Karakpur, got very good teachers. And that's where I 
you know, developed that liking for uh, research and, and went on to do a master's and PhD and then found that a career in academics is what I wanted. See, we've, we've always talked about interaction with industry, that, you know, the technology that we develop should go into the market, should uh, come out as a product. This was an interesting experiment that we got sampled and we said we are not going to develop something and give it to you, we are going to co-develop. So uh, an interesting experiment took place here where we had uh, engineers from Samtel and along with our uh, team of faculty from here and students from here. Uh, experiments like that are, are, are occurring at, in, within IIT Kanpur and elsewhere also. So I won't say it's on a decline, but probably on the rise, uh, this interaction with the industry. See, I think at all the places, for example, at IIT Kharagpur, where I did my undergraduate, at University of Illinois, where I did my PhD, I think all these institutions offered a lot more opportunities, and I think I was not mature enough to take advantage of them. There are many of them, I won't go over uh, each, but uh, each one of these institutions had a lot more to offer. I was teaching a concept which is very familiar which is there in textbooks since 19, uh, I would say, 50s. The concept was based on an approximation. There was a bright student who challenged me and said, sir, how come this approximation works? So I was telling him, you know, the conventional view that if you make this approximation, it gives us good results. And he said, how come? It doesn't appear to me that it will give good results. So we sat together and then we looked at the approximation in detail. And we figured out some uh, very new results, which, which we reported it in the IEEE transactions paper as to why this particular approximation gives such accurate results. This was not known. So, so this student sitting there challenged me, and together then we sat down and we worked it out. So it's this interaction with bright young students, which is a very rewarding experience. There is a line from a poem which really has guided my teaching. The first line of that particular poem has stuck with me, which says, to see a world in a grain of sand. This, is, this has guided me in the sense that, you know, there's been an explosion of knowledge. And what we can teach in any course is very limited. And therefore, what we must do is, whatever little we teach, it must, must illustrate a larger theme.